Hello years, it's Nata and Data, and today let's talk about how I would learn data engineering if I had to start again. I'm a senior data engineer at TripAdvisor now, and I made my mistakes in the past. So I want to share with you how to kick off data engineer career efficiently. This video will be useful if you aspire to switch from a non-IT career to data engineering, are a student hesitating which career path to pursue, or have prior coding experience and heard of the opportunities in big data. And I'm pretty sure you come across figures like this, which have sparked your interest and fueled your career aspirations. But you could be overwhelmed with a couple of things. First, data engineering tools landscape. And I'm pretty sure not all of them are listed here. It seems like there are lots of tools to grasp. And the thing is, when you go out there searching top data engineering skills, the results are even more frustrating. Like some websites are recommending outdated skills that weren't even close to being in top 10, while others with the access to the most valuable insights providing skills that could be applied to any job. Plus, none of these sites back their claims with data. Hold up, articles on data without data. Well, yeah, the irony, and we'll address that later. Second, the quantity of data buzzwords out there. While data engineering is a lot more ambiguous field comparing to traditional tech roles like software engineering, so new concepts are frequently emerging, like low-code to no-code, source of truth, self-service analytics, modern data stack, data mesh, lake house, etc. Third, if AI is going to take over data engineering jobs. Spoiler, no, it's just a helping hand here, not a replacement. Thankfully, we'll address all those questions further. So, let's go. In short, my data engineer career started accidentally when I've been actively looking for junior Python developer jobs. Then, all of a sudden, got an opportunity from PepsiCo. It was like, hey, we're looking for junior data engineers. Wanna join? And I'm like, what? Data engineering? What is that? Is it even a good career choice? I've been learning like Docker, APIs, Django, etc. How is it all applied? How can I succeed with that? But after some research, I understood that data engineering is a highly promising career, that sweet spot between software engineering and data analysis. So I took the leap of faith, and now I'm a senior data engineer at TripAdvisor, AWS, and GCP certified, wrangling the zillion of data. Okay, let's start. Before jumping on particular skills, we're definitely gonna refer to data. Many sources are advising some obsolete data without any data proof. So what is the actual demand in data engineering positions right now? The best approach is to look through LinkedIn job postings and figure out what exactly market needs. For that, I'll refer to Data Nerd Attack website, which analyzed more than 200,000 LinkedIn data job postings and outputs current market needs per role, level, and country. If you filter by data engineer position, you will have a real world demand skills for data engineers right now, right there. So, looking at this list, should I just jump on this all right away? Well, I do agree with the stats, but with a tweak. The first thing I'd suggest you to check is computer science fundamentals. Yes, it's not shown in the list, but it goes without saying. The main difference between data engineer and other data professions is that it requires certain level of computer science fundamentals. So if you're a complete newbie, I'd suggest you start softly with CS53 course. It will broaden your perspective and strengthen your Code fundamentals. It covers a range of basic concepts like algorithms, data structures, resource management, security, software engineering, and web development. CS50 is available for free online, YouTube, or edX, allowing self-paced learning with optional certificates. It's really engaging with comprehensive introduction plus a balance of theoretical and practical learning. In my time, it gave me a lot of confidence and deeper understanding what is computer science in general. Second, SQL. After that, the bread and butter of every data profession, SQL. It's, this is the oldest and an absolute must. No one can beat it for more than 40 years on the market. Beyond just doing some basic selects, you need to learn some queries, views, how to use analytical functions, and things beyond standard from and work clauses. You need to have a pretty deep understanding of SQL if you're going to be a data engineer. You cannot just get away with basics. So there are tons of resources out there, but my advice here is don't rely on just theoretical resources. Pick on where you can type and practice. Really, you can even use ChatGPT for that. Or if you want a coding platform for that, have a look at the basic introduction to SQL via Codecademy. SQL is a must at your job and for passing data engineers. Huh, well, here you expect me to say Python, but no. 
And let me explain that. I think learning Python right after is a mistake. Before jumping on such a broad tool, robust programming language, you need to understand where you need to apply it and which parts to use in which context. So you need to learn data fundamentals first. My story is that I've actually started with Python and didn't know about data engineering. So instead of leveraging Python for batch pipelines, let's say, I was wasting my time with studying Django and Flask frameworks, well, which are cool, but not the 100% this is fine. I can't say that it was like a complete waste of time, but I would better focus on something relevant. For that, I need to know which concepts and approaches are used in data engineering first. Like, I would better learn pandas, scripting, whatever, but not them. And no offense again. So third, data fundamentals. I've mentioned about data buzzwords before, so it can be pretty hard for you to understand which ones are widely used and which ones are just nuts. If you're talking about fundamentals, you can kick off from a bunch of these concepts to dig down and understand. SQL, NoSQL, structured and structured data, databases evolution, data warehouse, data lakes, etc. It's not a comprehensive list, but these are the concepts you will stumble upon data engineering interviews and will let you speak with other DEs the same way. So you will have a better feeling what data engineering is about and how it works. Fourth, Python. Yes, finally, as data showed, Python is the most demanded programming language for data. And you're pretty safe those days. Python is a great place to start learning the basics, usually like for loops, if statements, variables, functions, and then from there you can go to the next level, understanding object-oriented programming. Well, it's pretty helpful if you're dealing with Airflow, so all those classes and methods are not so scary. Functional programming, pandas library, different concepts in that space, etc. So far in this step, you will know about databases, SQL basics of data engineering, like what is ETL and what to do with data, and you will know basics in programming. So you can jump on creating some easy ETL pipeline, which picks up the data from API, transforms and pushes it to database, etc. Like a pet project. Okay, so now you have a starting point and more start, and it's more than enough for you to kick off. If you want even more details, a step-by-step -step process, and me to gently take your hand and walk through, please check my data engineering roadmap. More than 100 tools and concepts are included. I've drilled down every point even more and included particular resources that teaches you in the best way. Plus multiple pet projects, my experience on passing data certifications and how to land a job, even AI section for data engineering. So here you have it, dears. All the links mentioned are below. Please tell me if this video was helpful and I do appreciate your feedback. And share your story below. See you in the next video.